What's up guys, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're going to be looking at the Nightcore P20 flashlight. Kind of a mid-size tactical EDC flashlight. If you've been uh, you know, following YouTube and flashlight reviews, you'll know that there are more and more companies that are getting the word out. So Surefire, Phoenix, Streamlight, those are names that have been around for a while. Uh, but Nightcore, you'll see more reviews on those. Lots of reviews on Thrunite that are coming out. So it'll be interesting to see how the PX20 holds up compared to some of the other options out there. It's going to run you between probably 60, 65 bucks up to maybe 80 or 85 bucks, depending on the package you get with it. So you can get the light by itself. You can get the light with batteries, the light with batteries and a charger, a, a bunch of different setups. So um, pretty cool light. Uh, there, are, there are some nice features to it. The long-term use, we will see. I will show you in this video what it looks like actually in use. So we're not just going to talk about the specs. But let's go through, through some of the details first, then we'll get into uh, showing you what it actually looks like to use it. And then I'm going to carry it for a while as an EDC uh, light and then kind of report it and tell you what I think about it. All right, let's get into it here. Here's a look at a bunch of your accessories. You do get a lanyard here. You get a replacement end cap, two O-rings. There's the actual light. You do get a little uh, holster here. They call it a quality holster, in case you're wondering. Um, you also get a clip, which I've already attached here, and then what they call a tactical ring, and essentially that's, you know, so you can hold it in between your fingers like this, and I've already, I've already put that one on as well. So that's what you're going to get with the light. You can get it with batteries, without batteries, with a charger, without a charger, a lot of different options like I mentioned earlier. Here's a look at the light up close. Let's talk about some of your details, starting with length, end to end. You're talking a little bit over five and a quarter, and then across the broadest part up there at the top. You're looking at a little bit over an inch. Uh, some of the other details, it's waterproof and submersible down to two meters, impact resistant up to 1.5 meters. Your beam distance is 210 meters. And then based on the type of batteries you use, so you can use CR123s or the 18650s. And on your high setting of 800 lumens, you're gonna get four and a half hours with your uh, 18650s. With your mid setting, which is 290 lumens, you get nine hours, and your low setting, which is 40 lumens, you'll get 26 hours. Uh, a little bit less when you use CR 123s, so you're going to get an hour and a half, two and a half hours, and 10 hours and 30 minutes. So certainly your 18650s are going to give you the best long-term uh, light when it comes to uh, using this flashlight. Quick comparison here, here's the P20 compared to a Surefire Fury. So very similar in size, obviously the Fury is going to be bulkier because of the uh, Theorem switchback. But in general, you know, around the same size. So if the Fury is too big for you, uh, probably not going to be a great light. If you like the size of the Fury, this is going to be a good option for you. So let me offer some initial impressions of the light. Size-wise for me, this is fine. I like my Surefire Fury, so this is gonna work for me. Again, this, that's a preference thing. Uh, one thing I will tell you a little bit odd is that you can see right here, you've got the clip. This is really the only place it fits. You could force it on there, you could force it on down here, but it fits in the middle. Now, you can imagine if you put that into your pocket, let me zoom out here just for a minute. If you put this into your pocket, that you're gonna have basically from my thumb up sticking out. Uh, and that's just a lot of flashlight dev sticking out. So clip it onto a bag, maybe not a big deal, but in your pocket, that's a little bit odd. So I would, I would want another option to really put it up there. And, and you can see there's grooves there, there's a groove here, but it's just not big enough to fit that clip effectively. So that's one thing to be uh, aware of. On the end here, you can see what we have is the on off switch to click that on, click that off. And then you have your mode options here. So you're going to tap down on that to switch through the various modes. And we'll talk about uh, what those are and show you what they are in one moment, but kind of a neat feature to be able to do that. You're not having to scroll through a million different options, you know, to get to your strobe or your high or low setting. It's on and then boom, mode, 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 mode. You can just hit it a bunch of times. So those are the details on it. Let's actually use it now and show you what it looks like. So let me show you how the different functions work. As I mentioned before, this is your push button here on the end. Now, I'm going to tap that and you're going to see the light come on. Turn it off, on, off, on, and it's all the same lumen output, right? So that's not how you adjust your lumens. Again, this little tapping button here is what you press. So brighter, brightest, low, brighter, brightest, low, brighter, brightest. Now, if you hold this button down for just a minute, it's gonna go into strobe mode. And the thing I've noticed is that we're at our middle setting, strobe on the middle setting. Our highest setting, strobe on the highest setting. Lowest setting, strobe on the lowest setting. So you're gonna get the strobe option when you just gently tap this and hold it. And then uh, if you just tap it gently and let go, it'll go between the three different settings. So 
low, medium, high, low, strobe, medium, strobe, high, strobe. And then when you want to turn it off, you just press your push button one more time. Okay, so I'm out in my backyard and the shed is out uh, about 50, 55 feet from where I'm at. Let me turn on the light and shine it at the shed. Okay, so this is on the 7D lumen option and you can see it, I mean you can generally see the outline. Uh, with the camera you can't pick it up as well as I can with the human eye, but you can see it, I would say, decently. Um, I could definitely spot if somebody was out there. I can't see a whole lot um, of detail as far as inside the shed. Kick it up to 400 lumens and you can definitely see it much more clearly. So you can see there's snow on top, obviously one window, two windows, the door, there's my grill in front. Kick it up to 800 lumens and it's it's very clear. I mean, nobody or no thing is gonna be hiding uh, out there. And as I look around the yard a little bit here, you can see everything quite clearly. The fence, the trees, and then back over here to the shed. One other thing I will note here is that as I turn it off and I just hit that little toggle button without clicking the push button to turn it on in the first place, it goes right to strobe. So momentary strobe, off. Momentary strobe, off. Again, you'll hear the click. Now it's on and now I can toggle through the three different settings. So 70, 400, 800 lumens. As we wrap up here talking about the Nightcore P20, let me offer you a few thoughts. First, just to remind you that you're going to get different output times as far as the, the burn time and also your output intensity depending on what type of batteries you use. So if you use the 18650, it's going to go from 800 lumens to 290 and then down to 40. If you use CR123s, you're going to go from 800 to 400 down to 70. So something to keep in mind depending on what batteries you like to use, you don't like to use, uh, what you have available to you, just keep that in mind, you're going to get different outputs. As far as the size, uh, again, you know, it's going to be a preference thing. I don't mind something in that Surefire Fury size, so this is fine for me. Still a little, uh, I guess, unhappy, I would say, with the placement of the, um, of the pocket clip or the clip. You know, you could certainly clip it on gear or something else, but I generally like to run something like this just in my jeans pocket uh, right in the front there, and that's just it's going to leave a lot, again, of the light exposed here. Um, durability, I will tell you it's durable. Right when I took it out of the package, I dropped it and kicked it around a bit and uh, it's held up fine, so no issues whatsoever. You do have three different output options. You also have that fourth strobe option. And so, you know, for some people, they're like, look, I want one low setting and one high setting. They don't want all three. Other people saying, hey, I want a huge variety of what I can do as far as my output uh, of lumens. And so this might be a good option for you if you fall into that category. Continuing on with that theme of durability, is it is impact resistant and can be dropped up to 1.5 meters and then again submersible down to 2 meters. So it's gonna seems like it's gonna take some aggressive use and hold up. I think this light for me is gonna go into my car. I like to have a nice high intensity light I can keep in my car to grab, uh, you know, to use as a light when I'm looking for something in the car or if I gotta get out of the car and look for something. Um, and I don't wanna use my big stream light uh, spotlight also, every once in a while, you know, you run out of the house quickly and you're like going out for the day and you're like, oh, I forgot my flashlight. So nice to have something like this in the car. You can just grab it and then use it as your EDC light for the day. Nightcore P20, uh, pretty impressed. I do like it. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and, you know, that feature of one toggle switch uh, on the back or your push button on the back here and then your toggle switch to go through the different settings. I think that's pretty pretty creative. I, I like that as a setup. We'll see if long term uh, that's something that appeals to me. But right now, I do I do think that's kind of cool. So uh, check out Nightcore. Put links down below if you want to look into more information on getting this or finding out more about this company. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on Everyday Tactical Vids. Please subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.